Hello everyone, welcome to the next gameplay uh, video in Spooktober 2017. And it is Until Dawn, the PS4 exclusive game. But, uh, I guess, uh, drama in a snowy cabin set in, uh, Canada, a neighbor to the north. So yeah, this game, it's all about different decisions. Kind of like a choose your own adventure slash uh, Mass Effect or slash um, a David Cage game, if you're familiar with any of those. So depending on the actions you make in the game will uh, cause the uh, other actions of a different ending of the game. So you can replay this game and Pick and choose your actions. I'm going into this game blindly, so... And I might not have the best ending, but it depends. And this game also has, like, different Twitch uh, settings. Or not settings, but actions. So there's going to be button prompts. And this is the... Prologue-ish... Um, part of the game. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Come on, she deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. I like the subtitles on just in case I'm talking over anybody or if people can't hear. Hannah! <laughs> it looks like they're gonna pull a prank on Hannah here. Okay, I do have control of the character here. Some tankish controls. Uh, doors locked. Showing off the cabin here, trying to. I might have to wake him up. Okay, gotta go to the sink. Oh, okay, the bottle. Okay, let's get some whiskey. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. 
She's got a butterfly tattoo, but oh, Matt? oh, what are you doing here? this is embarrassing. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. It's all good. Just a stupid prank. Uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that, Hannah? Oh, Hannah's going outside for that. Use the right stick to choose. Uh, let's wake Josh. Josh. Which might not be Josh. the smartest idea. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, should have just ran out the door. There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messing around, Dad. That wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit! So here comes the button prompt, so I gotta be... Looks like the safe route. Yeah, I'm used to Xbox controls or button layout, so I gotta. This is a PS4, so I gotta remember uh, square and X or different position or circle and X and then square and triangle. But okay, which way are we gonna go? Uh, follow the footprints. That's a reindeer. Well, that's pretty neat. She's using her, so I can move with. I can move my uh, character with the left stick and then the phone with the right stick. And there are collectible pickups called totems, just like Alan Wake uh, manuscripts and flashlights. I'm not going to go out of my way for the totems. Okay, L. Oh wait, wrong one. Oops. L one. And that's the left bumper. Hello? Hello? And that's that's a totem. I believe they're called deaf totems. Yeah, they're deaf totems in the game, and I think they kind of preview a possible death. Again, this is all what a from so she can fall on she, she could die on the rocks we got some fire over there oh there she is oh my saved her it's gonna be okay Oh, here's the killer. Uh oh, she lost her phone. That means no flashlight. They're on the edge of the cliff. Oh no, they f they're f 
They're hanging on to that root. So hold on, hopefully there's a button press. I tried to see if I could let Hannah go and uh, save my own life, but it doesn't matter. I know I'm a terrible person, but... And now we have the Im image in the chapters. This is analyst Dr. A.J. Hill. And he's going to ask us a few questions. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Hmm. It's breaking the fourth wall here. Talking so, destructive to me. You and you guys. To commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Ooh, we got a scarecrow here, so yeah. This game also uses motion controls. I just to make it easier, I just set turn them off. But how did that picture? Yeah, scarecrow in the remember be honest. Cornfields. Yeah, sure, why not? Good. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. Well, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Yeah, it's scary. Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. So yeah, it's, since that introduction is pretty short, I'm going to at least roll through the first chapter. And hopefully, maybe the second chapter? I don't know. Yeah, this is a Sony first party exclusive. There was, There is a semi, what, not a sequel-ish, but like a tie-in game, Until Dawn Rush of Blood, which is the PS... VR game on rails, uh, almost like a carnival shooter, but, and then Until Dawn does have one prominent person who does the voice VO, and I guess 
somewhat mocap, or at least face modeling, and that's Hayden Penitary gets top billing, who plays Sam. She's been on numerous shows like Heroes in Nashville. Also as a voiceover in the game uh, Kingdom Hearts. And I'm going to skip through this if I can. Looks like I can't skip through it. Maybe now I can. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Martin. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington. So one year later from the introduction, the these girls were twins, but one hit glasses, the other one didn't, so maybe the one girl had contacts in, but either way, there's Sam again. Looks like they're going back up into the cabin again, even though it's one year later. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party. See, like he was passed out when his, his sisters got so killed, so. <laughs> or, we'll never forget, all right? I mean, their heads yes. smacked in the rocks, so I guess. Doesn't mean they're technically dead, but uh, most likely they're miss They're definitely missing. Mm, yeah, there's totems for a whole bunch of different characters again, and they're collectibles in the game. If I see them, I'll pick them up, if, but I'm not going to go my way to get them all. I think you have to do multiple playthroughs anyway because of the, the game has multiple choices. So if you go one way, you get another totem. Yeah, we're back up in the mountain. Going to go to the cabin. And let's see uh, what lies before the Great White North. And this game has 10 chapters, so I think each chapter has uh, an hour associated to that chapter. Now that, that is an hour long, I'm sure some of them can be... I feel like this one's going to be quick. Mm, 
Okay, so I can swing the camera around while the character model is going down, or when I'm steering the character. Oh, oh. I guess I got a wall climb here. Uh, let's go quick. That was close. Uh, jump. Do a little fast walk in here. Aww. Hey little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. Okay, so I gotta ride the cable car up to the cabin. <laughs> Butterfly prophecies. Interesting. It's probably like the totems that you find, different prophets. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it's a premonition, not a definite, if I can... So, you know, just like the first Chris? Ooh, a backpack. Let's right snoop. But, uh, the bag, yeah, so that first to totem, had I done a different thing, I could have easily changed the future. Hmm. Let's just close the bag. So Chris likes the Ashley, and you oh, can control so different characters. So something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Now she probably should fast walk through the snow. Always right? got a shooting range. On, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Now for the gun tutorial, and I'm now controlling Chris. Just a quick shooting here. So not the most intuitive shoot. I mean, it's basic shooting, kind of. 
move the right stick over to the thing because it's not a shooter, you know. You're not going to really have that many chances to shoot things, I'm guessing. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh no, the squirrel. I'd rather not shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Okay, so now we got crisps. Hmm. Oh man, look at that. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, it's place of And so this is like a murder mystery. Oh, this is a murder mystery game, so the more clues you find the And depending on the choices you make going forward, you can uh, increase your chance of a survival. You can save everyone, I think, for the most part, but you can also let almost everyone die, so... Oh, look at those sick uh, snowboards there. I should go to the commands or the <sighs> office there. The car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Can't leave Spot or Mountain. Oh, look a little. Um, security system. Here comes the cable car. So I guess this is a private ski resort. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, let's get in the car as fast as we can, trigger the sequence. Just get in the car, Chris. Don't know I have all day. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. Him and Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Just like this entire game. 
what a coincidence. And we have another person here, Jess. Mike, Mike, Mike's new girlfriend. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Okay, so. I guess she wasn't there. She wasn't there a year ago. For some reason I said to you. Oh. Hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Boop. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have? Chris! Here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on her. I don't know if I could have done anything to avoid that or not. Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh... Yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes that is a pretty cool view. Stop and take it all in. So let's see. Oh, we got Emily. Mike's ex. So she'll probably get in a fight with uh, Jess. Oh, and here's Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. And where's the bellboy when you need one? So now we're at the... Oops, sorry about that. But as you could see there for a brief second, that those bars on the right kind of show the relationship status between everybody. Oh. There's Mike. He's Emily's ex. I guess dating Jess now, or yeah. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. Nice one, Michael. You're a jerk. Come on, guys. We're all friends here, right? No need for violence. Just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. We'll threaten him. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Just gotta have uh, uh, we're past all this. We buds, but show his yeah. position to Mike. No, 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 no. It's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha. You know that. Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Hmm. I'll trust her. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? 
Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Hmm. Might not have been the right choice, but who knows with Emily? Because Mike went that way too. Although, I mean, they're with different people, so you imagined. And now we have. A new person, Ashley. Has a crush on Chris. We're kind of looking through the binoculars here. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Uh, friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh that's, well, that's a little creepy. Hey, whoa. Uh oh. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare you. Did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my god! Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, no, I'm gonna mislead him. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just. What? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. No, we don't no, want to, um, you know. Your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No, all right. Uh, sure, if you say so. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the next gameplay uh, video in Spooktober 2017. And it is Until Dawn. The PS4 exclusive game. But, uh, I guess. Uh, drama in a. snowy cabin set in, uh, Canada. A neighbor to the north. So, yeah, this game is all about different decisions. Kind of like a choose your own adventure slash uh, Mass Effect or slash um, a David Cage game, if you're familiar with any of those. So depending on the actions you make in the game will uh, cause the uh, other actions of a different ending of the game. So you can replay this game and pick and choose your actions. I'm going into this game blindly, so... And I might not have the best ending, but it depends. And this game also has like different Twitch uh, settings, or not settings, but actions. So there's gonna be button prompts, and this is the prologue-ish um, part of the game. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Did you guys think this is a little bit Oh, come on, she deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. I like the subtitles on just in case I'm talking over anybody or if people can't hear. Hannah! <laughs> it looks like they're gonna pull a prank on Hannah here. Hey, did you see that? 
Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay, I do have control of the character here. Some tankish controls. Uh, doors locked. Showing off the cabin here, trying to. I might have to wake him up. Okay, gotta go to the sink. Oh, okay, the bottle. Okay, let's get some whiskey. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Sure, we'll pick that one. Hmm, crowns are definitely planes. I mean, the last one I just kind of guessed. This one definitely is planes. Again, this is on the easy one, heights. Hmm. Rather go with snakes, because rats, you know, they don't have venomous fangs. Oop, got to turn the page. Hmm. Yeah, so this, this is a tough one, like the first one. I, I'm gonna go... Guns, only because guns are more likely to kill people, even though a knife can easily do the job. Snakes over cockroaches. You can smush a cockroach pretty easily. Oh, clowns are... That clown is definitely more scary than a scarecrow. Gore or crows? Um... I'm gonna say crows. Because Gorish is there, crows can fly your head, and as in the Alan Wake playthrough, Did I start with you? crows Sorry. are definitely obnoxious. Well, love. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be. And the Looks more like it's going to be the lightning round now. Snakes. Uh, crows are more scary than needles. Uh, clowns. Because they just look creepy. Hmm. Crows again, because dogs can't fly. Crows can. Whoops. I, I like storms, actually, so... Which means this, hopefully this game doesn't, like, produce more a whole bunch of crows. Maybe for you, man. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. And this might, this is, yeah, this is gonna have to be the end of this video, the first video. And yeah, I'll come back tomorrow with at least the next chapter.